All right, on the bench, uh, a part out of a 2012 Ford F-150 with a 3.5, I have the 6R80 transmission. And if you can see some of the parts on this transmission, the oil looks clean. If you can see the case of the transmission, looks clean. That is because I did this transmission about six months ago. So I get a call the other day from the owner, and this must have happened over the weekend because he called me Monday morning, first thing, actually 6.30 in the morning, and he had said, I got a problem with the transmission. And I said, okay, you know, tell me what's going on. He says when it makes the, actually when you drive his car, it has one through six up on the dash, you know, next to the drive ring. So as it switches gears, you know, you can see a one, two, three, four, five, and you can see it switch. So he says, you know, it seems like it's holding back on the three, four shift. And then when it goes in, the engine just races and there's no power. So I, I said, it kind of like goes into neutral on the three, four shift. And he said, yeah, yeah, basically that's what's going on. And then it goes into limp mode. He has a scan tool, so he's able to either to shut it off, clear the codes, and this way he can go again, at least drive in one, two, and three. So when I scan the car, I don't remember the code numbers. I don't think I wrote them down, but I had an overspeed code, probably because the engine is racing on a 3-4 shift, and I had uh, gear monitoring clutch E, which would make sense because that's what comes on in 4, 5, and 6. So he's asking me, what do you think happened? He says the thing, you know, really had no problems up until this thing started slipping, and by that time the clutch was already gone. You know, that's when it, it, it raced up. So. You know, it probably happened, you know, a few days prior to this past, you know, prior to the past weekend that it, it, it happened on. But um, I said one of two things had to happen. I said hands down. I said either the, the clutch hub broke and it is now not driving the e-clutch anymore because I've seen no snap. And another common problem is the e-drum has the tendency to crack. All right, so I got the transmission apart. The clutch is wiped out and the e-drum is cracked. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, that's why I left my compressor on, so you just heard it running. Uh, the e I'm gonna get the camera up close, show you, show you the clutches, and I'm gonna get right down onto the e-drum, and I'm gonna blow some air in it, and you will see that the e-drum has a crack. Uh, now, this is the first one I had. Uh, you know, as you know, the transmission is very similar to the ZF6 HP26, to the point where it is the same overhaul kit, and same bushing kit, okay? And I check every drum that comes that comes out of the transmission, and this is the first one I got. And I see some of these E-drums are freaking wiped out, the clutches and the steels, and I check that, and I got no leak. So the drum is good, so we put it back. Okay, so I got a new E-drum Ford coming and it's probably going to be here in a couple of days. I'm going to have to get this thing back together and back in the car. If I can show you the drum, the new Ford drum, and we could put it together and air check it, I will, but I may not be able to. So I just wanted to let you know that. But the important thing is, and the reason for this video, is I want to show you the cracked e-drum that caused this whole problem. All right, so I'm going to get a little closer. And I'm going to get right on top of the drum, I'll fill it with some oil, and I'll point to where the crack is going to be. And also, um, the crack can be in, in another area as well, which I will show you. Alright, so other than that, you know, I checked the A clutch. Um, this is the B clutch here. Uh, it should be fine, but I, I just, you know, pulled it out because everything came out as, as one shot. And then I took the whole assembly apart. My bushing is good. Uh, to seal the E clutch apply oil. So, you know, as soon as he told me that, and I says they, in, the, in the E clutch, I said either the, I said the drum either had a crack or this, this shaft had a, the shaft had to um, break. Now on the transits, this goes into the planet and the planet strips out. So on the transits, like the 2500, 3500, always check that planetary. That thing strips clean. Really haven't seen it on the Fords though. So let me get a little closer. I want to show you the clutches. We're going to take a look at the crack on the e-drum. And 
Again, if I can show you the new one for drum I'm getting fine, I may not be able to though, depending on when it arrives. So, you know, we'll kind of end the video and then if anything, I'll just edit it out and continue it. So let me get a little closer and we will take a look at that e-drum. Okay, first let me show you these uh, clutches here. Pretty much uh, got wiped out, nothing left of those. And the steels are being changed also. All well, this I am getting. That is all well, local. I'm getting that actually in my night box tonight. Just the drum is not close. And just also to let you know, talking to my rep at Transtar, there are two different drums. And, and they measure the height here. And I think it's point, uh, uh, four point zero four zero or four point zero six five. Okay, also another distinguished mark. This is the 4.065. See, this here, this ring gear is recessed to the drum. And the other drum, I believe, is flush. And it comes up straight up. There is no step right here. All right, so this is 4.065. Not much of a difference. 4.040, 4.065. But um, then he was reading in his notes, he goes, is there a step in it where the ring gear is? And I said, it is. He says, okay, you got the bigger, the, the bigger drum. But when I measured it with my micrometer, it was exactly 4.065. Okay, so you can, that's another identifying mark here. Is this, is, is this a step or just kind of flush with the ring gear? Okay, so let me put it this way. I'm gonna zoom in here on this drum. Okay, all right, so what we're going to look at is this area right here. Okay, this is where the drum is cracked. But actually, I think the, you're going to see the oil bubble up right around this area here. Okay, also the drums can crack along the outside, this area as well. All right, but I'm going to put some oil. I'm not even going to use a lot of air. I'm going to put some oil here. All right, I'm going to use very little air, and you'll see it bubble up. Okay, I'm going to hold the other side like this. Here we go. It's pretty much cracked from here all around to here. All right, so let me turn it a little bit. So there is the big crack in the drum. So what I want to do now with you guys, uh, now that we saw that, uh, I'm just going to take, uh, I want to take the piston out, make sure the O-rings are good and stuff like that. So let me just pull this drum apart. I'm going to pull the snap ring off here. You know, these, these are not solid rings, so let's take the rings off. Okay, I'll put these aside. And let me just take the drum apart. We'll just take a look at the pistons and make sure all well, that's okay. And we'll go from there. All right, so I'll be back in a moment. Okay. All right, so here is the kind of like the balance piston and make sure the solar ring is good. And of course, once the new drum comes, the new drum comes and I put this back together, you know, of course I'm gonna air check. Blow the piston out. Can't even blow the piston out. Huh. Okay. I'm going to clean up real nice. All right, oh, the o rings look good.
So it's cracked right in, right pretty much in the center there. Yeah. So that is the E drum on the 6R80. Um, again, we had codes for gear monitoring, E clutch. Uh, I had a code also for, you know, what I believe I also had a code for gear monitoring 3 4 shift. And I had an overspeed code. Again, that's because when this thing would want to hit fourth, there would be nothing there and just basically go into neutral. The engine would race up and then it would go into safe mode. And then at that point, you'd have to pretty much shut it down or clear the codes or something. So uh, uh, it'll at least shift up uh, one, two, and three. All right, so I have a brand new Ford drum coming from Transtar. Uh, it is a couple of days out, and again, if I can film that, I will, but it's very, very busy here, and I got transmissions all over the place. I still have much more that has to come out that I have to do. I got stuff half done. I'm waiting for parts, and I have more coming out, but if I can swing it, um, I'll show you guys the drum, but I may not be able to, so I just want to give you a heads up about that, all right? But again, the main important important thing is we saw the crack in the e-drum. We identified it. Again, there are two different ones, so you want to either measure this or kind of just take a look at this. If you ever have to get one of these, then they ask you how, how tall it is from here to here. All right. all right, so I received my new drum from Transtar, brand new Ford. Uh, E-clutch drum. I have it all ready to go. It's all assembled with clutches and steels. And reading the box here, I mean, this is basically a, a Ford box with, you know, Transtar slaps their part number on it. And the yellow tag here is Ford wants, there is actually a core charge, and they want the old drum back in the, you know, in this original package. It says, uh, has the part number then on the yellow st sticker it's a Ford sticker it says core deposit core must be returned in original package so looking at my invoice from Trans there actually is a core charge on it so I gotta give them the old drum back alright so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get a little closer I'll just air check this real quick and show you that it does hold the pressure until I release the rubber tip or my finger from the other side so again, you have no fourth, fifth, or sixth. Okay, in this case, it was due to a cracked drum. Okay, other issues would be a uh, rear stator bushing, common problem for that. No fourth, fifth, or sixth. Or also, I've seen on the six R80s this this clutch hub break pretty much right down here at where the uh, where the hub is. The shaft breaks off. So that's another reason also for no fourth, fifth, and sixth. So let me get a little closer. We'll just air check this quick. Um, you know, we'll put the assembly together and then I'm actually gonna have to run out so we can end it there. All right, so let me get a little closer and I'll be right back. All right, so what I'll do is I'll just get a little bit of air here. All right, so it's holding the pressure, and I'll release. So she's good to go. All right, and then let me just uh, back up a little bit, and we'll just put the front assembly together with the A-drum, the E-drum, the hubs, put the snap ring in, and then at that point, I'll just have to uh, run out. So we'll end it, and I will be right back. All right, so we have the A-drum here. Here's our brand new E-drum. I got these rings, you know, pretty much secure in here with the trans gel. These rings are very, very thin, so I want to make sure they are in their spot. Okay. And then we're going to have this bearing here.
right there when I the clutch up, and there is a bearing on here. So we have the lock, so I just got to kind of line that up with the tabs here. Okay. Just got to give it a shot, knock it in. There we go. Okay. That is good to go. All right, so just to recap, 2012 Ford F-150 with a 3.5, 6R80 trans. Uh, came back on the, probably, probably did this, I don't know, I'm, I'm still thinking about six months, maybe a little longer. Uh, came back no 4th, 5th, or 6th. Found the e-drum cracked. Uh, got a brand new one from Ford, and there is a core deposit, so they want that one back. And that's it. Just gonna put this back together and get this back in the car. Everything else looks good. I went through the rest of it and uh, all the other clutch packs. I mean, everything's basically new. So. And when I did check this drum at the time, because I do check every one of them, the drum was good. But, you know, six months down the road, the drum, I guess, developed a crack. So, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you next one.